we're going to define matrix multiplication. One matrix times another. When we defined matrix vector multiplication, we had restrictions on the dimension. The inner numbers have to match, and the outer numbers give the dimension of the new vector. It's precisely the same when we multiply a matrix by a matrix. The inner dimensions have to match, and the outer dimensions give the dimension of this product. Let's define this multiplication first, and then we'll talk about why we gave this definition. Um, well, let me start by making the obvious observation, or at least it's obvious once it's pointed out, that if we have these restrictions on dimension, we can't be multiplying matrices in the same way that we add them. That is, we can't be multiplying them component-wise, because if these matrices have different dimensions, they don't even have the same number of components. Instead, we define matrix multiplication in terms of a vector multiplication. So as we often do, let's think of a matrix as a bunch of vectors sitting next to each other. Then we define this product as A times the first vector, A times the second vector, and so on. Let's close this video with an example. Um, one, one, two, negative three. This is two by two. For this product to be defined, this next matrix has to be a two times something. Let's say two, zero, one, two, three, negative one, zero, zero. Sorry, I said that, and then I did that. As I already mentioned, for this product to even be defined, we need two rows. So we can't have another row. Let's multiply a two by two matrix by a two by three matrix. The inner dimensions match. So this new matrix is going to be two by three.
So the first column here is going to be one, one, two, negative three times the first column, which is a uh, four. negative two. So four, negative two. The second column, one, one, two, negative three times zero, three, is three, negative nine. This last column, one, one, two, negative three, times one, negative one, is, let me see, one and negative one is zero, two, negative three and negative three gives positive three, two and three is five. So there's our product. 